Hello and welcome to a brand new YouTube video where I review a game. Now, if you've heard, you can hear it in the background a little bit right now, you know what game I'm reviewing if you've played it before. It is F1 2019, this is available on PS now. So I thought I would have like one or two races and see how it went. So I thought I'd go for the great British icon, the legend that is Lando Norris. So here's me. This is the race highlights that it gave me, and then I will get talking about the game afterwards. How does that sound? What it didn't show you is a little bit of this. This gives me a really good chance just to talk to you as we go through this. So as we go through this, we, as we see with uh, going around the track. Now, there's a few good things about this game. And some of them like you can reset when you have an accident, which I think is a really good feature, especially for starters. Also, it's very, very good for when you are just starting out because the lot it shows you how to line, where to break and things like that. And you can slowly take that back and you can slowly start scaling that back as you go along. Now, within the game also, I would say that much like Formula 1, it's very difficult to overtake, which is something which is a given in Formula 1, to be fair, these days. Also, on that note, the uh, damage is pretty good the, the way it deals with damage is pretty good and if you look at the graphics on the outside the graphics around the outside are all right they're good i wouldn't go overboard but they are pretty good i've already taken that cone out remember in the highlight package i think we're just chasing hamilton right now we are about uh, 11 laps from the end at this stage i did a 58 lap race around melbourne now there's a lot of times when I went wide or, or got a little bit scruffy and it was usually when I was following someone quite closely. I don't know whether that was my, me mentally doing that or if that was the car's behaviour changing. I don't actually know because I, I dare say it's a little bit about me mentally doing that. Now I think something that can also be said about this game is if you look at the... Uh, you've about to see me go back in time. If you look at the like graphics inside the car itself, then it does look pretty awesome. If you look, if you'd like, take a look at the steering wheel, for example, the information about when you can set off DRS. Now, the DRS is a bit weird because I don't think they've got the DRS quite right here, because it's like 
the activation zones just don't seem to add up to me because I, I think occasionally I was like two seconds behind and I would get like DRS, which didn't really add up in my head. I'm a Formula One fan. It's a second behind. It's not two seconds or two and a half seconds behind. So that didn't really add up. Now, we'll probably see me go back one more time if I remember what clip this is and perform one of the most stunning overtakes in the absolute world. I don't know if we actually get to that point. Oh, look at that. Stunning overtake. Nope, I just rewind it as you can do, which is really good. And you'll see me just go to start at this point and just be like, thank you very much. That's how I should have took the corner in the first place. Now that would be moving up into second spot. As I say, the game itself is pretty, pretty good. The price point is still in the £50 mark. It is on PS Pro, uh, PS Play, PS Pro, whatever, whatever we want to call it where you get to play the game itself. So that's that's like a really nice touch. We are now into the final lap of the race. Now, the only thing I had to do was keep this clean and tidy, and that's what I did first off. So back I go, obviously. And as you get further and further into it, I'm, I'd stop doing that as much, and I'd start relying on my own driving instead of being able to take it back all the time. Now... It's a skill knowing where to take it back to because it puts you straight directly into the action and if you do get it slightly wrong, that happens. Now, the tire performance does drop as well, which is which is quite interesting. Though I managed to break a wing, I think, on the first on my first run of this, so that was always good fun. Now as you can see, he mugs me there, but I, as I always do, just slam out and in front of someone. Either they stop or they're off into you. To be fair, I should have had 5-10 seconds penalty throughout this race, uh, at least, for some of the moves that I tried to pull off, which uh, sometimes worked, sometimes didn't, causing a collision. I think I was up for about seven times. Now, that's all I can really say about this game, to be fair, on the, on the bits that I've played it. But I, as I say, I think it's a really, really good game. And I haven't played it enough to get to the point that I found any bugs or anything. If there is any bugs out there that didn't show on this, there, somebody's just not going to be finishing this race. Took a little bit of a shortcut there. But overall, a very, very solid game. And yeah. He wasn't having any of that, was he? I was not giving him any space on the outside just there. He was going to have to run off the track to be able to take me there. But as much rear-ending as I did in this game, it was a really nice game to play, and I did really enjoy it. Now, let's get to the actual scores as we finish this race. question now is where will it go onto the chart? This will make 24 titles on the chart. So, again, graphics. As I said, it's got good graphics. It looks good. The cars look amazing. Some of the other little bits and pieces don't look as good. So I'm going to call it above average, but not amazing. If you're going to talk about amazing graphics, talk about Anthem. So it's going to get an 8. If you want pick up and playability, this game can do it. This game, even if you're not really that much into car games, you can pick up and play it pretty easily. It's pretty simple to do. Again, it doesn't explain everything to the fine detail, which it could possibly do better. So an 8. The genre, how well does it fit into the Formula 1 and racing area? Really well, actually. Yeah, it fits really well into it. Um... Is it revolutionary? No. Eight. Eight across the board so far. Does it work? I had no issues with it. I played a few modes. Had no issues with it. So, a solid ten. This is the only thing that really lets it down. I decided to check how much this would be to buy as a game. And I was there thinking, it's been out about, about six months to a year. There'll be a new one out in about four months, five months. It's still listed at 54.99. It is available on the PlayStation um, now, so I guess that lets it away a little bit. But judging it on that price and that price alone, I can't say 
anything for spending 54.99, especially because it has in-game purchases. So it gets a five. That's the only thing that really lets it down to it. So it is literally eight, 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 ten, and five. That puts it into twelfth, which if you look onto the board now, you'll be able to see how that settles it. Now, I would say a very good game if you want to play it on PS now. I wouldn't advise the £55 mark that PlayStation charge currently charging on their store. Remember, this is the PlayStation, this was the PlayStation version I was playing. Very good. I enjoy playing with Norris and I enjoyed getting the win with him as well. So I hope you have a fantastic day today and I hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoons. Keep yourself well and I'll see you very soon. Remember to like, comment and subscribe on the other side. So there we had it. We had a Norris win and a good win for Formula 1 there. 12th, that's mid-table. That is literally bang mid-table as well on 78. It's, as you can see, it's hit, fits in around that 78 mark. It covers your 9th to your 12th. If, you go, if you're saying within the first 2 to 3 points, you're talking about 7th to about 14th, 15th. So that's not a bad place to be really. That mid-table is very, very packed. And that's where a good game is, as I've said before. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe by any of the thoughts that I've gave you today. And I'll hope to catch you all very soon. Enjoy your evenings. Have a good day. I'm moving up and down, side to side, like a roller coaster. <laughs>